Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Joe McNally. Hey, how's it going, Daniel? Good to see you again. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, like, yeah, five minutes. Matter of minutes, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Always just a fun day in the field when we do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. We get to just bounce ideas off each other, try different things. Yep. And we're now working on a second character. Yeah, and uh, yeah, talk about a character, okay? Um, the lovely lady we had in our first video that we did today, we wrapped up in light, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, she had this beautiful sort of luminous quality to her and we see, we tried to match that, you know? Now with Nick, not so luminous. Not so luminous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is on the set with right. us. And Nick is a wonderful actor and presence in front of the camera. We worked a number of times together. I love the guy, even though he's the biggest ball breaker on the planet, you know, which you're about to see and experience to some degree, I'm sure. Yeah. So know? if you hear a lot of beeping, that's just like... Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah little, little bleeps here and there. It's okay. It's, it's wonderful to photograph Nick because, again, as a talented actor, he can give you a lot of emotion and range in very subtle ways. He doesn't have to jump around the set to have you right. make a good picture, you know? It's yeah. great. And uh, from our point of view, the change now is we're gonna use more directional light, a little more contrast to a little more punch. Exactly, exactly. So we shifted up from this kind of bouncy, washy, um, you know, kind of light. That was good, right? Bouncy, bouncy washy. washy. Yeah, yeah. bouncy washy. <laughs> That's, that could be the name of a new light shaper. Yes. Maybe we could you know, work some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> any, any companies want to sponsor that? <laughs> So now we're using actual official light shapers for uh, RFI soft boxes. We got a three foot octa with a grid in it. The grids are important because they help you control the light. Right, yeah, they control the spread of light. Yeah. We might add another light, probably will, a one by three. One by three is one of my favorite light sources. Yeah, you know? it gives you that control, but it's still soft because you've got the length. Yeah, yep. and for uh, a face like Nick, that, you know, you wrap that contrast into the light, and then there's a little bit of drama, a little bit of shadowing. Yeah. Fall off is more dramatic, especially with the grids. It matches his persona. That's really what we're trying to do. Yeah, exactly. That's really what a character shot is. Right? Exactly. We're trying to bring out the character, and an actor can obviously do as many different characters as possible, and sure. we, we're, play, we're playing up what we like with Nick. Should we that mention kind of that um, Nick has been on Adorama TV before? Oh, I wonder if they'll recognize him. Uh, you won't. No. Because Nick was an alien. That's right. On a previous episode of Adorama TV, he yeah. looked like a guy from outer space who found his way to a diner. Yeah, and he wasn't really an alien, and we weren't really in a diner. That's true. That's true. So, Thus, the illusion and magic of photography. <laughs> exactly. <You know? laughs> yeah. that, was, that was really fun. Yeah, we, we created an into an alien in this little diner. Yeah, and the special effects makeup. Yes, we're so You great. know, Nick wasn't allowed to come out with his full Nick personality because right. he was kind of constrained with all the prosthetics. So he right. kind of actually toned it down a little bit. Really, that yeah. was toned down. Yeah, that oh, was great. toned down. Yeah. No. Now we're going to see, I think, full uh, double barrel Nick. All right. All right. We'll know? turn the mics off then. We'll <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Pipe down, will you? No, you never treat your subject like that, but right. Nick and I, we got this no-holds-barred relationship, you know what I mean? Yes, sir, I do. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so I think we're going to just play around, and what's nice about, I mean, in general, photographing men, but also somebody who's a great character, is we can really play with the light and, and be a little bit uh, rougher with it than you normally would. Like, we're not just making it more exactly. beautiful, we're trying to bring out a character, so it should be really cool. Exactly. Sure. All right, you want right, to? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, yeah. Nick. All right, Nick, on set, here we go. Guys, I mean, everybody was there. Uh, you know, the clients. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear that? That's a guy when I first met him, sir. Can I do anything? Like, no, what the f are you looking at? <laughs> and fly a uh, diffuser um, kind of over the top third. Let me put one more stop into the light. Expression's fantastic. Yep. I'm going to go to F8 at ISO 200, because when you're dealing with a profile like this, you know, you got a near eye, you got a far eye. Crucial, get the near eye sharp. If you got an eye to choose, choose the near eye. But here, Nick has got such an amazing face, I wanna see if I can spread that sharpness a little deeper. So we have the octagon set up and it's actually creating a really cool light across Nick's head, but the way that his, his uh, face is shaped and everything, his forehead was getting a bit more light. So it was getting nice and bright on top, which really didn't look that good, didn't look even. So Joe lowered the light a little bit and we also took a last light uh, tri-grip with diffusion and put it across just the top part of the box. That's just lowering the exposure on the top to make it even on the whole face. Hang in there, give me a couple of those. Good, 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 cool, nice. 
Perfect. Way to go, way to go, Nick. Fantastic. Okay. So we, we got that first setup with the with the box and initially when we, we first started thinking about it, we were like, oh, maybe we'll do like a classic kind of kicker in the back to give him separation. Right. But it was looking so beautiful. It was like, it worked with one light. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, Nick is kind of one of those one light kind of guys, yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah. he's got that kind of face. And, and the first setup was, I mean, eminently predictable, right? I mean, we had the, the soft box and sort of Standard softbox position, sir. Right, you know, exactly. and look nice. Yeah. That's why everybody puts it there. Right. You know, but then we started to freelance it a little yeah. bit. You know? Yeah, yeah, and 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 there was a moment where we were like, oh, should we throw the second light in or not? And we said, no, nah, let's just stick with one light for this and see where we can take it. So we threw the light up on the boom to right. get kind of that overhead almost feel light. Yeah, and we moved it around a bit and we got it kind of at an angle. And that's what's great about that super boom. Like I don't pull it out that often. Once you get, if you've ever done it with a monolight on a boom, you know, super boom, you get that thing up there, you can, you know, twist it and adjust it and get it exactly the angle as you want. Yeah. And you can really get that light exactly. So you get that bit in the eye that you wanted without, uh, you know, but still have that overhead feel. Sure, yeah, we kind of went after like a good fella's quality right. of light. Very overhead, but not quite tabletop, a little bit of pitch, yeah. just enough in the eyes. And then when I saw Nick kind of, clasp his hands right in here and he kind of looked this way I was like okay we're done right that's, that was the shot yeah because yeah. he's, he's yeah. such a great personality and yep. he just brought it yep because that's important too and if you if you are working with a great personality you do like that amplifies that and together you'll get it really quickly exactly yeah. and then we had kind of a luxury item we kind of went in for uh, you know we had the strip set up we had you know it was there so okay my philosophy of being on location is that you and I will never be here again together at this particular moment, so why not do it? Yeah. So we pulled out the three-foot octa, we put in the one by three strip, also with a grid, yeah. and just did a, a profile study. Yeah, and that was really nice. I mean, the, the, it was simple, yet you had to work it. You wanted to get the face exactly in the right thing because you want just enough light to give you the shape you want. Yeah. So, and there's such a variety depending on how he turns his face or where the, the softbox was back and forth. And then Nick even suggested, he's like, well, you know, I have two sides to my face. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing about a good actor. They know their face, yeah. you know? And so if you as a photographer have this vision like, oh, no, look this way. And the actor comes back and says, yeah, but I can also do this. My advice would be, let him do it. Yeah, let him do it. Yeah. You know? So yeah, spun around, shot in that direction, got a different shot. Yep. I mean, it really feels different. It does. It does. And the light has drama. And Nick just ramps up the drama, you mm -hmm. know, with the various expressions. Again, nuances of expression. Raised eyebrow, compressed eyes, you know, just that, you know. It's hard to put your finger on, but you know it when you have it. When you see it come up in the camera, you're like, yes. Yep. And then you hit the shutter and you got it. Yeah. And, and I think that's the thing. I, I, I kind of said at the beginning of the first video, I think, where I said, you know, it's, we shoot a lot of pretty girls or whatever for videos because that's the general. We're shooting models, and models are, you know, a lot of young, young people. But people that have been around that have some character in their face are really great to shoot, and it's nice to have that opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. So, so I like that. I mean, and on that, we're probably going to shoot it. There might be a young girl coming up. There might be. There might be. We won't know, though. You're, are you going to let me in for a little bit uh, into no. your glamorous life? Uh, no, uh, maybe. Just, just for... You can oh, sit man. over there. All right, all right. I can watch? All right, you cool. Can. All right. And if you guys want to watch, make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.